if you're thinking about Ambonix RG35XX line of devices, you've definitely come to the right place. I'm gonna try to help you figure out which of these you should or shouldn't get depending upon your needs and what it is you're truly after. And the great news is there's something for everybody depending upon your needs. I'm Joel Reed. this is SWPL Gaming. Let's get into it. Ambonix did a fantastic job releasing this device as a competitor for the Mi Mini during its release. Initial reservations arose upon encountering the unimpressive stock OS that shipped with this device. Yet thanks to developers like Black Seraph and his transformative garlic OS, the device underwent remarkable improvement, swiftly capturing widespread acclaim. The RG35XX doesn't just stand out amongst its rivals, but those in its own line as well, and this is largely due to its budget-friendly price. This device also supports a bunch of retro systems up to PS1, and it does a pretty good job of it as well. Let's move on. If you like what you see, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe, tap that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my latest content. Every device you see today will be linked in the description below so you can get more information there. Back to the video. The RG35XX Plus surpasses its predecessor in every aspect, delivering a host of enhancements that redefine its gaming experience. Elevating its exterior, this device features a seemingly bezel-less display thanks to the sleek and thin black borders around the edges. We even got glossy new buttons on the front and on the back, we got a set of new triggers that are different from its previous model, making this device more comfortable to hold and easy to reach triggers at the back. And that's just the beginning of the upgrades. We've got Wi-Fi, we've got Bluetooth, and we've got a bigger battery that allows for much longer gameplay sessions. What really sets this device apart is its micro but powerhouse-like performance. And this is driven by the H700 quad-core Cortex A53 chip. To cut a long story short, this allows you to play PSP, Dreamcast, and I've even seen N64 emulation on this device as well. In essence, the RG35XX Plus stands out as a pocket-friendly, formidable little powerhouse, combining style and comfort. Introducing the 35XX-H, the newest member to the lineup. This thing has the same internals and power as the 35XX Plus, and it would appear that Ambonic have been listening to the community by crafting this in the horizontal form factor. Notably distinct, this device has analog sticks on each side and as you can see because of the form factor we've got these nice clicky triggers at the top here enhancing both functionality and style. Its horizontal design not only arguably makes it more pocketable than its predecessors but also ensures the utmost comfort making this the most ergonomic design of the three variants. The only issue that both the plus and the H variant suffer from is the fact that at the moment we don't have any custom firmware for these devices, but it is in the work. The 35XX-H also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention, across the three devices, they all are able to connect up to a TV via mini HDMI out. So there you have it. There's something there for everyone. If you're looking for something budget friendly and that can play up to PS1, then yeah, go for the 35XX. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more beefy, yeah, you got the 35XX Plus. And if you're not fussed about the form factor and you just want something comfortable, you got the triple X H here. Guys, I hope you liked the video. Link in the description below for all of these devices and their unboxings. I'll catch you in a bit. Take care, stay safe, and peace.